baby. Who that is? That's shiny baby. Who that is? That's shiny baby. That's shiny baby. That's shiny baby. Hey guys, hey my shiny squad. Today, guys, I'm gonna do I'm going to show you how I make meatloaf and what I put in my meatloaf. I mean, I'm sure we have a bunch of recipes out here, but this is the one I like to use. So, okay, I've already put in my ground beef. I've put in onions, bell pepper. I put two eggs. I put two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of oatmeal. That's to hold my meatloaf together. I add some Worcestershire sauce. And now I'm going to add, I like to add a little barbecue sauce to make the inside juicy. Let me get it, y'all. I thought I had it out. I didn't have it out. Let me get it. Okay. I add just a little bit because I already added the Worcestershire, which is going to make it juicy. Okay. So, okay, I got all that. My seasoning ingredients, which I haven't used yet. So, we got, we got black pepper i pretty much put it in by i don't measure because i'm kind of used to putting it in you know by my, my way the way i know what, what's enough and what's not i got me some you guys can see that saison seasoning total i've got my garlic powder i've got my garlic pepper And I'm gonna add just a little of my sea salt because I really don't eat with a lot of salt. I try not to. Okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna, let me mush this together, y'all. Make sure all of my ingredients is combined. All your ingredients should be combined. Okay, let's get that together. How was y'all day? What y'all do today? As y'all can see, I couldn't do much because I'm still in my robe. I've been in the house all day, y'all. Relaxing my damn nerves because I be tired. I be tired for real. I'm trying to make sure I get everything from around the side, y'all. Everything is nice and uniform now what I am gonna do I am going to get my other pan because I want to spray my other pan I want to spray my other pan with um Pam you know, Pam, the uh, cooking spray to keep my meatloaf from sticking. So this is, I use this as well. Pam, the cooking spray. Okay, I'm going to, you know, lightly spray my pan. Oh, then I'm going to transfer my meat to the cleaner pan. I'm gonna make sure y'all all my seasons and stuff is together. I'm hoping it is, y'all. This way, let me be a little, let me put a little bit more. Let me put some lorries in here, y'all. I gotta make sure. My flavor is on point. transfer and then I'll mold it into my shape that I want easy transition y'all very easy transition okay now you just mold it into like a loaf you know like a loaf of bread that's what we doing Comments how you guys make meatloaf. Tell me your recipe. 
guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that red notification button so you know each and every time your girl is uploading a video. You definitely don't want to miss it. Y'all, I'm shaping this like my life depend on it and fine. That look, that look kind of good. What y'all think? Y'all think that's good? I think it's good. And it's holding together real good, y'all. That's why I use the uh, two tablespoon of flowers and the oatmeal. Okay, guys, let me wash my hands because it's ready to go in the oven. Let me turn the oven on, y'all. I need to turn the damn oven on. Say, what was I thinking? I put my oven on uh, 425. I'm mad because I should have been had my oven already heating up. So I could have just put the meatloaf in there. That's okay. So I'm going to now wait y'all, this kind of look a little. Give me a few more. Let me let me let me something that's just not we're looking right to me on my meatloaf. Okay, I get that. That's gonna have to work, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till my oven heats up. I put my uh, my oven on 425. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick my meatloaf in. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. This to helps the bacon keep the juices from it. Keep the juices going. Like that. You know, you know I got to have me a cocktail. Cooking is hard work. This my glass of wine. Hey, ladies, where you at? Hey, ladies, where you at? Hey, hey. Okay, guys, enough. I'll be back. Once the meatloaf is done, I'm going to also make some garlic mashed potatoes and some greens. So, okay, once all that's done, I'll be back to you guys to show you the end results. Okay? Bye, guys. I'm back. Okay, guys, the meatloaf is finally finished, and this is the ending results. Can you guys see that? You see all the juice, y'all. All the nice little juice. It's not, it's not dry. It still has juice in it. And this we're gonna do. We're gonna do a test. Look, let's see. Make sure it's done in the inside. Let's see, guys. I'm cutting. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to cut my pan and my damn juice fall, fall out everywhere. All right. Can I turn y'all? I can't turn it, y'all, so y'all can see the inside. It's nice and juicy. I can turn that little part. Can y'all see that little part? Hmm. It's nice and juicy, y'all. I told y'all it still has all the juice around. This is going to be absolutely fabulous. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to dive in. My family's hungry. Thank you guys for watching me. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the red notification button so you'll know each and every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys. Bye.